Yeah, that's right, Mike. I'm going to step out of the way, give you a live look. You can see that steeple is nearly home now. But as you mentioned, there were some problems this morning. They had the wrong size straps and they started to pinch the steeple when the lift began. So they had to replace those straps before they could start the lift again. Now, this restoration project began about a decade ago as the planning and fundraising got underway. When the steeple was removed, organizers found that the damage was much more extensive than they thought. About 95% of the steeple ended up having to be replaced. Now, the structure, which weighs about 50,000 pounds, is also top heavy, which means it has a tendency to tip if lifted incorrectly. And getting it in place requires some precise maneuvering on the part of the crane operator and the crew. We have about four inches between the, the box post and the inside tower box, but it has to slip down behind a whole bunch of stuff. And when it's down to the bed timber, there's only about a quarter inch of tolerance at best. As you take a live look at the steeple once again, you can see it's nearly in place. Now, this is just part of the effort to restore this historic church. There's also a lot of work that needs to be done inside. That's estimated to cost about a million dollars. Reporting live in Derry, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.